Matt Carpenter over at third base again today. The Cardinals looking for a sweep. Pirates try to prevent that. As the Cardinals have moved to within three games of first place Chicago. At first, the Buccos will try their hands against the Cardinals today. The RAV4 lineup for the Pirates. Starling Marte atop the order with Max Moroff back in the lineup at second. Andrew McCutcheon will bat third. Josh Bell cleans up. David Fries at third base bats fifth. John Jason gets a start. Good career numbers against Waka. Diaz the catcher, Mercer eighth, and then Ivan Nova. Starling Marte ready to start things. Against Michael Waka of the Cardinals. Take a look there. Walk his numbers, as you said, he has been up and down in the ERA. Is a little bit uh, over into the fours. Not something that he normally likes to see, but it is what it is. And uh, too late to really change things much now. now. These days, that's above average. Yeah, when you're uh, well, when you're getting to September, though, you, you don't move that ERA much unless you throw about three shutouts in a row. And now the Honda defense for St. Louis. Harrison Bader gets the start, the rookie. In center field with Gritchick and Piscotti on either end. Carpenter, De Jong, Wong, and Martinez. And Yadier Molina doing the catching for St. Louis. Sun splashed Sunday here in St. Louis. Final time the Pirates would visit Bush Stadium this season. Still entertain the Cardinals back at PNC Park during the final homestand. Trying to get Marte going too. We talked about Andrew McCutcheon a moment ago. He's uh, not really driving the ball as much. Marte, very much the same thing. He is seeing very little extra base power from him over the last few weeks. Something that was a, a big strength for him last year. Doubles, triples, and some home runs. Pirates will have 19 games remaining, including today, so a chance to finish strong over the final three weeks. You know, since we're in September, and a lot of talk about next year, and you know, talking about guys, you know, trying to find some pop, get the power, drive the ball back. That certainly is a a goal, I think, for next season is to to find a lineup that has more power and will hit a few more home runs. That one hit well out to right, and Piscotti with just enough room. So I thought after we do the uh, the tips, it's uh, Rivers Casino tips to win. Be ready on first down. One of the things that uh, Waka does do here at home, which makes him a better home pitcher, he's very aggressive with the first pitch. Throws fastball strikes at a much higher percentage than he does on the road. So you've got to be ready right away when you climb in there for that first pitch. And, uh, and Nova, at first 19 starts this year, he went six or more every single start except one. And in his last eight starts, he's not hardly seeing the sixth inning at all. So that's the main thing, I think, with him is to try and get some length out of him. And hopefully that rest will pay off in that regard. Max Moore off in there again today. He was uh, seeing a lot of playing time down the stretch. Yeah, if you can just get some of these guys uh, trending upward as the season ends. More off. Down on strikes, but as far as those home runs go, I know that this year uh, there's a little, you know, kind of built-in excuse with Jung Ho not being here all year, and uh, you know, I think 25 home runs out of him would easily yeah. would have been great. He yeah. maybe could even have got 30 out of him. So I mean, there's that's one thing that you can look at for this season to say, well, yeah, the, the home runs are going to be down anyway. But all around baseball, home runs are up, and we need to take part in that. So hopefully next year we can get a few more long balls. Down underneath it. And Richard will retire 
McCutcheon for the final out. Ten pitch inning for Michael Walker. And St. Louis will come to bat here at the first. Out in the sky here today. How it's meant to be. Baseball on a Sunday. And the Cardinals line up. Mike Matheny puts Matt Carpenter back atop the order with Colton Wong and then Paul DeYoung. Jose Martinez, the talented rookie in the cleanup role again today. There's Matheny with Molina batting fifth. Piscotti, Bader, Gritchick, and then Michael Walker. I usually see the outfielders so uh, low in the order. Yeah, that's usually that's your offense is the outfield. <laughs> Nova's uh, numbers on the year ERA has climbed up into the fours now. Just 11. You might be able to move that into the threes here in the last month. Get a couple of good games in a row. Uh, three more starts probably something like that. And he'll face a couple of lefties to start things and that's been a challenge for Nova as the year has gone on. Trying to challenge the lefties, but uh, mostly right handed bats in the Cardinals lineup today, the final seven in the order. Cardinals just don't have that many lefty bats. And so that could uh, play into Nova's favor here today. Try that change up against uh, lefties, and it's been a pitch that they've been able to hit fairly well when it's been put in play this year. The curveball's been tough, but really, like you said, Bob, that the difference with him is where he puts that fastball. Yeah, what well, which is most pitchers. His control was yeah. was good, and a lot of times you see something like that, and you think, well, he's just trying to throw the ball down the middle, he's trying not to walk people. But that wasn't the case with Nova. If that's the case, then the base hits are going to be way up. And they have been since then, but early on, right? I mean, it was he was unhittable. There were yeah, the very base few hits home runs. came up when the control actually started getting worse. But you occasionally you'll see somebody with a real low walk numbers, but it's a sacrifice. It's kind of a trade-off they make. They're going to give up more hits than they have innings pitch because of that. Jeff Samarja is a great example. The Giants mm -hmm. pitcher leads. Only Nova in walk rate, but has given up a lot of hits. Good start. Locating the fastball to strike out Carpenter looking. Total leadoff man is gone. And the defense for the Pirates today, that's Max Moroff at second base. Jordy Mercer, his double play partner. Freeze and Bell on the corners with Martin McCutcheon and John Jaso in right. At the battery mate of Mr. Nova's Elias Diaz today, eighth start in his last nine games. Colton Wong, who had been bothered with a back concern in the lineup for the second straight day. Two balls with a strike to Wong, and uh, on the caps today, the uh, U.S. flag is there. That is to memorialize 9/11, uh, uh, taking place 16 years ago tomorrow. And so today and tomorrow, baseball will wear the U.S. flag on the caps. So in case you're wondering why, there it is on the Cardinals caps. On Wong. And over against lefty batters in that April, where he was the National League Pitcher of the Month, uh, outstanding 193 against him, but 328 since the beginning of May. 
And here we are, second hitter of the game based on balls, and he's thrown a dozen pitches already to just two hitters. So that neither one of those things are, did we see from him at all early on. And then that's all been uh, you know, second half of the season type stuff. Now the walk rate coming in second fewest walks per nine innings in the National League, but it was to a point where it was almost going to be record setting early on. That probably wasn't going to continue, but we have seen uh, him pitch or throw a few pitches in innings, pitching to contact, getting through. Or maybe it'll help with the next seven hitters, all righties. It seemed like early in the year, too, he could, when he needed that ground ball, he'd get it. Here's a spot where you're looking for the ground ball. Still can tidy it up, make it a fairly brisk inning. Young with good power though. Hook ball, come on, hook. Foul ball. Ooh. Gotta talk to them like that sometimes. I think they, you help them. Occasionally that. they will listen. Sometimes they don't. There's a little lazy breeze blowing out to left. And that might have just helped it enough. Oh, let's see the ball start to move. It's, yeah. It started to listen right there at the end. Thank you. That would not have been a good way to start the game. Yeah, there's that breeze, but yeah, just had that spin on it that was coerced by you. It never hurts to talk to him. Yeah. Curve missing makes it one and two on the young. 21 home runs in it. Abbreviated season, they didn't get called up right away. This is only his 89th ball game. Pretty amazing how they come up with the two young shortstops back to back in seasons like this. Yeah, Led Meets Diaz last year who came out of nowhere. Wasn't even on the opening day roster, called up the first week of the season. An All Star, right? Yeah, goes to the All Star game. And now he didn't even get a September call up this year after being sent to the minors. <laughs> One hit wonder maybe. Yeah. Cardinals will have a it seems like they have a lot of young guys that come up. Now some of them stick around of course but then they'll have some guys that Jeremy Hazelbaker comes to mind. It set the world on fire for a month or two and then never hear from him again. Now De Jong you know, will he have the pedigree to stick around because of that kind of power especially at shortstop uh, that can play if he can keep that up. Fourth round pick two years ago. Can anybody get there? Well, Diaz pulled up. He thought yeah, maybe. but nobody did. Yeah. The answer was yes. Somebody could get there, yeah. but nobody did. Yeah, I think he thought Freeze was going to take control, but it, that was closer Freeze, to Diaz. Freeze may have not seen the ball. Freeze is looking straight up into the sun right now. I mean, he started slowing down by the coach's block. I don't think he had a good look at it. But he's looking dead into the sun where that ball was. He's got the flip ups, so he can still flip those down, but still, it. Trying to locate the ball and looking into the sun. There's in the cloud in the sky. Today it wasn't very too. high, so if he had a hard time picking it back up, let's say after he flipped down the glasses. If you're out in the outfield, you've got time to you know, pick the ball up. And walk. That little shallow pop fly to get there, he would have had to go straight to the exact spot as fast as he could go. And I think once he lost it for a moment, then he had no chance. Yeah. Whereas Diaz maybe a step or two closer. But it's a much harder play for him. Yes. For the catcher. Sinker just missing. Theoretically, yeah, either one. Could have maybe made the play, but everything would have had to gone perfect. Or maybe it didn't miss. Ray Searage, Pirates pitching coach. Long with six deals in eight tries, so to keep him honest.
base hit for DeYoung. Wong will stop at second. St. Louis with two aboard here and one out. Already 19 pitches from Melba. All three plate appearances uh, have gone fairly deep. And after getting Carpenter looking on strikes. You're still looking for that double play ball yeah. in these scenarios that not only get you out of the inning, but clean up your pitch count a little bit. Two outs, one pitch. Still available. Now Jose Martinez has been in the cleanup role the whole series. A 29 year old rookie whose 10 game hitting streak ended last night. There's Tyler Glass now and uh, he uh, and the Indianapolis Ball Club who were eliminated last night from their postseason run losing the series three games to one to Durham. Altoona is still in the mix. Uh, they have made the finals in the Eastern League. That'll begin on Tuesday night against Trenton. Now one and one on Martinez. Been a part time player, mostly a backup corner outfielder, but has been playing at first base over the last uh, week or so. And Jay So with the second out, they're going to run on him. Wong will move up to third. Well, Jay So did the right thing there. Just throw that ball into the second base. And your chance of throwing Wong out at third base is not all that great. But what you want to do for sure is make sure that you don't let another runner get in the scoring position. So he just fired the ball right into Jordy. Chaser with good career numbers against Waka, so in the lineup today. Got a Yara Molina. Got to get him with two outs. He homered yesterday. Season at age 35, eight time All Star, including this year. Long at third, De Young at first. And ahead, 0 and 2. Trying to survive this rough and tumble first inning. Put up a zero. This will be his 25th pitch. Barely missed. One of those were borderline, didn't get a call. I hope that umpire, Corey Blazer, today. Oz Diaz over at first, Doug Eddings at second base. And the crew chief is Jeff Nelson. He's over at third. And a two out, two strike hit for Molina. De Young will head to third, and the Cardinals lead 1 0. Ball that was down and in. Yeah, it went the other way. That is probably the most difficult pitch there is to go the other way with the ball that's down and in. Not sure how he uh, shot that one through the hole. So Quite a player over the years. Yeah, he's really picked it back up with the bat again. Ray Searage has to come out for a mound chat here. We would have not seen Nova. Throw this many pitches in an inning very often this year. 
and still has a chance to get out of it with just one run. Last eight starts, five of them, he's gone less than six innings. And with all the pitches he's thrown here, six innings is going to be a well, maybe not quite yet. If he gets over 30 innings in the first, or 30 pitches in the first inning, then six innings becomes a very difficult target. Now you hope that, you know, like a lot of pitchers, you know, you have that uh, first inning, maybe it's a little rough, and then you settle in after. Then that. you have an eight-pitch inning, maybe a ten-pitch inning, and get right back to where you're supposed to be. That, I mean, that can still happen. But he'll face Stephen Piscotti here, with men at the corners and two outs again. It was a strike away from putting up a zero. Molina, who had both hits off Chad Cool last night. Cool went six innings yesterday. Well, the Pirates starting pitching, which has been a, a strength over long periods of time this year, again, pitching well lately. The array of two six over the last eight. Some of the starters right there. Happy birthday to Chad Cool. Turns 25 today. Happy birthday to Gina Weiss of AT&T Sports Center. Well, and part of our crew, Rick Cubio, makes us sound good all the time. Bob Matter, our engineer. Happy birthdays to you as well. It's a popular, uh, very busy day about, about nine months ago. Looks like Nova tried to reach back for a little extra on that one. It really lost his uh, release point on it. 30 pitch first inning. Ryan was saying what they did. Would like to get him to do, and thought he'd gotten away from it. Was uh, be more upright, get the down downward plane, more, more leverage back. Well, the right should be routine. Okay, so takes care of the final out. Cardinals get a run. And we're through one today. St. Louis up one nothing. Very glad you're with us here on this Sunday afternoon. And uh, congratulations go out to Greg Brown, who is the uh, Mid Atlantic Emmy Award winner in the sports analyst play by play category. So, congratulations. Look at the lowdown there. It's because even when he's on radio, he's still pushing ATT Sportsnet. I mean, that's, that's why you get those Emmys. He's a, a team man, yeah. as well as uh, our director today, Andy Costco, uh, winning for the uh, Penguins Broadcast Emmy Award uh, for directing, as well as uh, the Pens live unedited sports programming. Uh, Way Andy. Emmy for that too. So excellent. Congratulations to all the folks involved in the broadcast. A lot of hard work uh, getting recognized. Bob, you were a winner in the uh, outstanding award no, in the I've field of excellence. Winner of anything. Yes. That's why I like it. Yeah. Clint Hurdle got an award. Uh, Four year contract extension as well. So he and the GM Neil Huntington signed up. And Bell is retired. Well, the Pirates have uh, several guys who have had good career numbers against Walker, but so far a crisp start for the Cardinals riding. David Freeze grew up here. And still uh, faces a lot of former teammates. Gets a kick out of that, although, uh, of course, as times change, fewer and fewer of those. Keep you updated on all the scores on the lowdown today. Cleveland a winner in 17 straight. That will be later on. Nationals have an opportunity to clinch today. 
Shot down to right, base hit. And Piscotty's going to have to hurry to keep Freeze from a double. And David in there with a two base hit here with one out. Piscotty actually did a pretty good job getting to that ball. Get the throw in. And I think uh, Freeze realized that. Second base head first. And right about now, you know, Freeze has the play in front of him and he's thinking, oh, I gotta hurry. So he's not knowing that the throw is gonna be way offline. He's like, might be close. I gotta go head first. Now Jason with an RBI chance, trying to tie it. Jason in there today because of those uh, good career numbers against Walker. Time hitting at 500. Six for 12 with a home run. It'll be quite the uh, challenge for Clint Hurdle here down the stretch with 35 men on the roster to try to find some playing time. I guess some of the uh, regulars and the guys who have been here all year get some playing time for them, but also. Working some of the younger players that are making their way oh, yeah, up. Like 25 guys on the bench. <laughs> well, when you include the, include the bullpen. Yeah, the Pirates, uh, by my estimation, got 13 men in the bullpen. 12 if last now is going to be sent aside to start. They're bigger these days. Full pins, full dugouts. I think these guys in Clubhouse watch the game on TV. Okay, so out to left. But Richick has the second out. Santana back up with the Pirates there on the left. Good young arm. Well, Diaz uh, getting a good look at him, and that's been. You know, part of the uh, goal in September is kind of evaluate. But I, I like what you said too. Is that it's also for them. It's more for them, really. Yeah, more than the, the evaluation is. You know, I don't think, especially uh, you know, listing the deal that they pay much attention to that. But in September, it's more about getting these guys experience. Well, a one-out double left on for the Pirates. Still trail, Michael Walker, one nothing. Of the second inning. And take a look at our Allegheny Health Network injury update. Dexter Fowler last night colliding with the wall and the bruising that left knee severely enough that uh, Mike Matheny saying that he will be out at least a few days. No structural damage after an MRI taken on Fowler's knee, but certainly out today and uh, probably for the uh, Cardinals next series as well. That uh, allowed Adam Frazier. To run around the bases for an inside the park home run. And so we see Harrison Bader in center field. Cardinals really like him. He has uh, had a nice year offensively and can cover some ground out there in center. Also uh, did some baton work apparently uh, down at AAA Memphis. Big hop somehow handled by Freeze. Wow. Catching the ball and then how about making that quick accurate throw after he realized the ball was in the glove. 
That was an extraordinary play by Freeze. Wow. A horrible hop. He was able to recover, get the ball, and then perfect throw to Bell. That's that the big leagues. Really came up on him. That's a big league play. Check in the sun. And the flip ups on. Think about the, the flip ups, flip downs, whatever you want yeah, to call yeah. them. They can be very, very dark. I mean, much darker than you would have a normal sunglass. So you really can flip them down and almost look, you know, right up there next to the sun anyway. Look at our Allegheny Health Network Super Mo. See that you see the last minute correction he made. He moved the glove. Probably a good six or seven innings, uh, innings, inches right there at the end. Bell able to come back down on the bag in time. And Freeze has handled the first couple of outs. Hey, you were saying last inning, Bob, about uh, evaluation versus uh, guys getting experience. Oh, yeah. In I September. mean, it, 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 somebody comes up and has 25 at bats in September and gets a dozen hits and hits a couple home runs. Neil's not going to say, wow, this is going to be our. You know, whatever, whatever, whatever next starter, year. No, yeah. that's not the way it works. It just it might get you on the radar a little bit more than you would be for next spring training. You know that like hey, nice September. But what they do in the course of the long summer carries much more weight than what they do in a handful of at bats or a handful of innings in September. For me, September is about getting these guys that might help you next year. Maybe you'll be on the team. This is a little bonus for him to get him some experience at this level. And I mentioned that Diaz, I think, is the best example of that. If he's going to be on your team next year, this is very valuable to have him catching all these games against the National League Central and seeing all these hitters and how they react to all these guys' pitches. And to be honest with you, when Diaz first got up here, I mean, it's almost like he looked rusty or something behind the plate. It was jabbing, jabbing at everything. Yeah. And, and now that he's gotten some games in a row back there and he knows what you know everybody's fastball does, he looks much smoother back there and can frame pitches better. Ten pitch inning for Ivan Nova. Now the Pirates trail one nothing. This month during a ball game, they dealt with a pretty unique situation when a cat invaded the field right into center field. Pretty unique circumstance, something that really doesn't happen much in the game of Major League Baseball, but it happened right in the middle of a game. It was a cat invading the field and wouldn't go away when Yadier Molina was at bat. So yeah, the cat kind of made itself at home. And a member of the grounds crew, that's Lucas Hackman, went out to get it, but not without getting bit and scratched and clawed a few times on the way out. Pretty wild stuff. We're happy to report Lucas was okay. And this is what happened on the next pitch, a Yadier Molina grand slam. So the Cardinals were on to win the game over the Kansas City Royals, and the cat was dubbed the Rally Cat. So in honor of that, people who brought tickets to the Rally Cat theme received a T-shirt with proceeds going to Tony LaRusse's Animal Rescue Foundation and the St. Louis Feral Cat Outreach. Joe, one of those things where one of those odd moments happened at a ballpark, and as you've said many a times, when you get to the ballpark, you had no idea what you're going to see that day, and fans that night certainly saw something that uh, you might not ever see again, a cat invading the field and scratching up the grounds crew guy. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, if Bob ever gets his way, we'll see more of those cats. Uh, yeah, cat night. Yeah. That would look like a little kitten. That, yeah, uh, that one wasn't very big. Oh, I wonder how that ended up happening. Now, these are ballparks pretty, pretty sealed off, right? It didn't get through a, a knot hole or something like that back in the old day. I've seen just about every kind of animal get on the field at one time or. Uh, and that's like what? Not, not the first time I've seen a a ground crew member get lit up by a cat out there <laughs> in the middle of the game. But, uh, no, there was one I believe was in the Astrodome, Astrodome years ago. That, I mean, you can see that cat just bit right down on him. Not pleasant. What other animals have you seen on the field before? Name them. Grease pig, squirrels, dogs. The dog was my favorite. <laughs> Nova lines out for the second out. The dog was during batting practice <laughs> at an in-season game we had in San Juan a few years ago. Oh, okay. We're Good taking thing. batting practice, and all of a sudden there's a pretty good-sized dog just walking around out in the outfield. <laughs> Guys are just hitting, and then 
the dog walked right in the middle of left field. Did some business right there <laughs> and then walked off. And so there and this is like it was hysterical. I'm like uh, I was pointed out to Brownie. In fact, Brownie was actually on the phone doing like one of those phone interviews. Yeah. And so he did play by play on the action. Out in left field. But that was the most unusual. And then somebody had to grab a shovel and go out and clean it up. But that was a, a first for me. The the dog actually going out and having, having yeah, just kind of yeah. walking around. Out to right again. But Marte retired for the second time. Quick getting for Walker. And he'll leave the field. They come up with all sorts of stuff. It's always warm during spring training. Definitely a cool hat. <laughs> Already comes with the cabbage leaf uh, inside of it. Back to the top of the order after a 10 pitch 1 2 3 inning by Nova, settling down in the second. Well, he started from trip. Is that what he used to do? Put it right underneath the cap. What kinds of old time remedies to be used in spring training? Oh, the hillbox things. style caps. Cabbage leaf, keep cool. Well, you're talking about how at this ballpark, uh, or not this one, but the previous incarnation, Bush. Back on the AstroTurf, it would be so hot in those uh, well, humid summer days. July or so, that uh, everybody would come in, and you know, there are quite a few people now, you, the players now, they wear those the plastic or rubber type cleats. Back then, everybody wore steel, and you'd be out there, and it just they get blistered on their feet. It was so hot. They come in, they actually stand in big trays of crushed ice back in the uh, tunnel, to cool their feet off in between innings. From having to stand on that. Uh, Hot turf. Yeah, was it's not like the uh, artificial surface we see today. Back then, it was like a you take a parking lot, put an inch of padding on it, <laughs> and cover it with a carpet. And yeah. That was it. Yeah. So Nova issuing his second walk. Carpenter, second in the league, drawing the most walks. So. He's aboard to start the third. Colton Wong drew the other walk. Shallow left, Marte having to come a long way. Catch that at fair ground. That's the first out for Ivan Nova. Some of our Point Park tweets for the day, and Jack here at the ballpark today and converting some Cardinals fans like that. Spread the good word, Jack. Hashtag Bucks Booth. If you're here or you're anywhere and you want to show off your pirate pride, we can do that. And De Jong is two for two. Noah unhappy with that last pitch. He it is mid yeah. after that. Didn't like where he threw it, would be my guess, as far as the location. And he knows that's why he was so good uh, last year and the first part of this year. The location. Why can a pitcher have, you know, very good location sometimes, not as good at other times? I don't know. I never could figure it out. <laughs> I would have loved to have known that. And, well, you know, nobody really does. Yeah. 
You know, I mean, that's the very few guys can really do that. And those are the soft tossers if they make it to the Hall of Fame. Way on in front of that changeup. Greg Maddox is a perfect example. When he was a Cub, he, had, he threw pretty good. He had good fastball. I mean, he was more of a stuff guy as a Cub. Yeah. When he got to Atlanta, he started losing his, his velocity a little bit and, and became just strictly hit your spot, move the ball around, make it move a little bit type guy. And he made the Hall of Fame because he had it figured out. Did just the one. Smart move by Moroff. No chance of getting Martinez. They went with the pump fake. See if he could influence the safety. Then bite. <laughs> Let's see if Carpenter would come on home. Uh, immediately he looks to third after the fake to see if he can get him round in the back. And if you have no chance over at first base, why throw it? What if the throw gets away? Now you can cost yourself a run. Heady play. He he very heady play. I like that. For a rookie, especially. Sure, they've got things straight for Molina. This is kind of a replay, isn't it? Oh yeah. There's two outs at first and third. He went, took a, a ball that it was a strike, but it, down and in corner of the strike zone, he was able to hit a ground ball with it the other way through the hole. Infield is spread out right now. Did that on two strikes as well. So Nova thought maybe it could cap that inning. Try to move off the plate. Two on, two out. And deep out to left. Hooking. And goal. Yadier Molina has homered for the second straight game, and he's driven in all four runs today. Missed his spot. Did you see where the target was there? He is set up down and away, and it, it's control. That's the difference. And that's where the pitch was that Molina hit out yesterday. It was a high and in slider from Chad Cool. That time a high and in fastball. 17th home run for Molina, the ageless catcher of the Cardinals, with a curtain call. Twenty seventh home run now allowed by Nova. Among the most in the league. And that's maybe the difference between Nova of a couple of months ago and today is. You know in that first inning maybe he gets Molina you got ahead of him. Second time around maybe he gets Molina again. Then he's posting zeros and it's maybe not a. Particularly crisp day, but still a very effective one. Now, instead, already four runs across. And there's Polo Asensio and Benji Molina. Benji on the right there, Yadier's brother. One of the uh, Cardinal Spanish language broadcasts. And then uh, saying hello to Benji up in the booth. Time major league catcher Benji Molina. 
family of catchers, a trio of brothers. Catching Molinas. Yeah. Jose as well. Got here now at 35, the eight time All Star, and uh, he has really been a thorn in the side of the Pirates, uh, not only uh, this season, but throughout time. And the curveball strikes out Piscotti, but not before Molina's three run home run gives the Cardinals a 4 0 lead. In St. Louis. And our thoughts are along with Max. Look at the lowdown there. He tweeted out today. Stay safe, Florida. More often, native of Winter Park, Florida, near Orlando, and uh, just about every resident of Florida, perhaps in Irma's path. And as Irma made landfall today, we're thinking of all those who are bracing for the storm and those who have uh, evacuated as well, including a couple of people I met yesterday. In our hotel here in St. Louis, they brought their dogs with them, and uh, they're just hoping for the best when they return. So, our thoughts, along with Max, to everybody impacted by that terrible storm coming through right now. And Andrew McCutcheon, Fort Meade, Florida, as well, and near the north central part of the state. Working on a modest five game hitting streak. And has uh, done well when he's gotten uh, a little bit of extra play time here. It's the uh, little that he's played in the second half of this season, more and more lately. And he got 326 coming in. Valuable experience. What this is about. We've seen two different Max Moroffs already, right? I mean, started off four for 48 this year and hit a home run, and all of a sudden, looking a lot more like the player we saw in the minor leagues all year. Now let's take a look at our day automotive this day in Pirates history. Three years ago today, Andrew McCutcheon with the previous inside the park home run. And it off of Jerome Williams of the Phillies. Making his way all the way around. First inside the park home run for him, and now he'll have a base hit and likely more. As Gritchick making a terrific play to keep McCutcheon to a single. A nice hand for the crowd. That's almost always two bases. Drive over the third baseman's head from a knee, getting it into the cutoff man. Yeah, would have would have had to be relayed to second base. He wasn't going to throw anybody. So McCutcheon limited to a single there here with one out. Josh Bell trying to move him around. Struck out three times last night, only the third time in his career that he's done that, even though he's put up the power. Three more home runs, right? So to be the all time uh, Pirates rookie home run leader. He got three more as well. It would tie the uh, all time rookie switch hitter record in baseball for home runs. Leads the ball club with 24. Two strikes. Waka is just 40 pitches here in the fourth inning. Bell down on strikes. 
Walker very sharp today. He has struck out four Pirates. Yeah, his control has really been impressive. I mean, and this is an example of it. Got to get right on that outside edge. Get the glove target right on the black. Walker placed it right there. Throwing darts today. David Freeze though solved him his first time. He doubled. Former teammates. Ahead. 11 of the first 14. And Walker with that to change up and especially the curveball. When you've got strike one, now he's got three options. Gotta make it tough for the hitters. Next tough for the pitcher, you don't get that call. That's a pretty good hook right there. Yeah, all three pitches have hit the zone. Yeah, make the WB Mason strike zone. We used to play baseball in the street, and they had that one of those pitch back things, you know, the little net. Kick the ball right back for you. As long as it ticked it, it was a strike. So same thing with Computer, right? As long as you get. Yeah, I mean, in reality, any of those balls we show where you know you get half the ball on it and half the ball off, those in reality are kind of flip your coin. I mean, that's heads or tails, 50 50, whether they're going to be called a strike or called a ball. And if it's now what came up tails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that's just that's what it is reality. That if it's going to hit, you know, one of the borderlines, now technically that's a strike, but in reality, umpires. They're only going to call that pitch a strike maybe half the time. Out 3 2, McCutcheon goes, but Free strikes out. 99 miles an hour on that fastball. Wow. Walker strikes out three in the inning. He's very sharp today. Cardinals have a 4 nothing lead. You can save big with the Dick Sporting Goods scorecard. Up to $10 off tickets. In the outfield box for the remaining Sunday through Thursday home games, go to pirates.com slash scorecard and pick up your tickets today. Pirates have one home stand remaining. The 18th through the 27th. Brewers, these Cardinals, and then the Baltimore Orioles. Coming to PNC Park, your last chance to watch a little baseball. A little interleague play right at the end of the year. Yeah. It'll uh, End at home, how it started this season in Boston. Harrison Vader robbed of a hit on a very fine play by David Freeze. Really finding that big hop at the last second. Need to make some. Real good plays over there. Third base. Solid okay. play. Raiders showing that good power. Mark will hold it. One out. Center. And just over the wall for a home run. Randall.
Michael Gretchik hits his 20th, and the Cardinals are up 5-0. I wasn't really sure. Well, I, at one point there, it looked like Jason and Kutch looked at each other. And then that's never a good sign. Mm. Right down the middle. Hit well, they're kind of like looking at it, and then they look down at each other just before they got to the warning track. Flower power from Gritchick. That's where Carpenter's home run went yesterday. Right in that garden. Now the pitcher Waka. Got a little little flower bed there so fans can't actually reach over that home run fence. A little more decorative uh, situation than say what you got in Chicago. <laughs> just a chain link the, fence. It serves the same point. Yeah. yeah, it's the same thing. It keeps the fans back just far enough to where they can't reach and they interfere with a home run ball. There's the flowers. Get that railing in the back there behind the flower bed. Some kind of ferns. Maybe a baby's breath. I don't know. Walker strikes out. The uh, dill, dill weed. <laughs> sure. Maybe some kind of fern. I trust your green thumb mess more than I have my no own. I, I, that's why I said I think. I don't know. If you know, all the botanists out there, hashtag Bucks Booth. Yeah, what is it? Anybody knows what that is? Educate us. You make the call. <laughs> like that old uh, this week of baseball thing. They tell you the different scenarios or whatever. And then what happened? Yeah, you yeah you, you'd have to do it. And then they come back from break to tell you. This is what the umpire decided. Yeah, right. Without making a phone call. Doug Harvey said no, it. No lifelines back then <laughs> for the umpires. Now you might get a manager kick some dirt on you, but that's not anymore. That's, that's a, about it. One of the things that will always be in the history of baseball now, the old arguments. Yeah, dust ups rarely happen these days, and if they do, they're usually pretty short. Carpenter today has struck out a walk. Nova has allowed a pair of home runs today. 28 now in total. That'll stay foul. Now the Pirates' uh, team record is 32 home runs allowed in the season. Murray Dixon. My wife's uh, grandmother used to bake pies for it. For Street. Murray. Yeah, for Murray Dixon. That was her home favorite run pies. Favorite pitcher for the Buckos back then. She liked Kiner and Murray Dixon. <laughs> liked home runs, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Kiner hit him and Dixon threw him. <laughs> Here's the 2 2. Trying the hook and missed. Struck him out. Well, executed fastball. And Nova as if the run out of a homer to Gritchick. Last chance to see Bush Stadium this year. Beautiful ballpark. Huh? One of the best. Love what the, the, the way they cut the grass. Look at those stripes. Unique, the narrow, the wide. See the arch in the back way. Or, well, the back way, the arch way in the back, <laughs> or the arch way in the back. I you, had all the words came up with right that just didn't go. Together. Came up with a new term. Yeah, the back way. The gateway to the west. This was a, at one time, uh, St. Louis was the westernmost yeah. 
city in Major League Baseball until westward expansion in the late 50s, LA and San Francisco. That was back uh, before plane travel. So trains uh, travel, you come out. Dick uh, used to stay down at the uh, train station, huge train station. Not that big anymore, obviously. Union Station, uh, actually a wa good walk from here. There were two teams in St. Louis for a many number of years. The St. Louis Browns, who ended up over the Baltimore prior to the 1954 season. So they had an American League outfit, which was far second fiddle to the Cardinals. I'm going to ask Steve how long the train trip was out here. I don't know if he <laughs> was on the trains. I know he wasn't, but I always say he was. <laughs> Those are some of the Cardinal greats. Red Cheney's still with us and uh, often a visitor up here. The Nora Zone Stan Musial. And his slaughter. And some of the uh, great names. They've got a lot of a lot of history here. Retired numbers. A whole slew of World Series banners flying above the scoreboard. They are the they make it known. They're the Yankees <laughs> of the National League. And they've had success, so uh, you know, boast about it, of course. But yeah, obviously, you gotta get those banners up there. Two and two on Elias Diaz. Walker has recorded the last four outs via strikeout. Make it five. He has struck out seven Pirates. So these flowers, thanks for helping us out through social media and uh, Sweet William. Sweet William. What we're seeing on the low down there. Flocks. Be a good words with friends word. Thank you for that. The psyllium. That's a silly answer. No, I don't know. That the flocks that must have been developed in uh, Philly. <laughs> Everything is pH, right? Got to have a uh, high pH soil to grow that. Yes. <laughs> okay, issues in one, two, three, and Thanks to the botanists for helping us out. Five nothing Cardinals. First, Stephen Brault will get the ball. The left-hander against Brandon Woodruff of Milwaukee. A couple of young pitchers. Our coverage will begin at seven o'clock tomorrow night from Miller Park. And the Brewers in action against the Chicago Cubs. They've taken the first two games of that series to make it a three-game lead for the Cubs over. Both the Brewers and the Cardinals. Making it uh, interesting here down the stretch, whereas uh, most of the divisions in baseball have been decided seemingly months ago. Dodgers have been sliding. They've lost nine in a row. I think we'd see that. Nova makes quick work of Colton Wong. And the Diamondbacks taking advantage. They've been shooting straight up. The Diamondbacks were something like 20 back. Now they're 10 games back, but very much in command of that first wild card. The Nationals have a chance of clinching soon. Look at the low now. 10 games off their lead in like two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. That Brewers Cubs game right now, 1 1 in the fourth. So Milwaukee could be within two games of the Cubs if they could win. And then obviously the Pirates are trying to play spoilers against them as well. Arizona and the Dodgers in action. Rockies holding that second wild card right now. I'm all for anybody winning other than the Cubs. <laughs> so that's where I stand. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, this late in the year, if you've got the advantage, 
Yeah. Doesn't mean you have it for sure, but obviously you'd much rather be in a position that they're in. Pirates will have 18 remaining after today. De Young has singled twice, both through the left side of the infield, and this time the Pirates have uh, employed a little bit different look. Trying to shade those guys over to the left side. You see Mercer uh, cutting down that hole a bit. And more off playing up the middle. And two strikes. Nova has walked a couple today. Another payoff. And he struck him out. Curveball. And Nova has struck out four in a row. But down five nothing. Of course, might already be on the horn. A couple of home runs. Molina has driven in four today on a single and a three run home run. Richick homer. Jose Martinez. Oh, for two today. Oh, for three now. Okay, so gets the final out. One, two, three inning for Ivan Nova. Five innings for Nova, five hits, five runs. Walk two, struck out seven, gave up a pair of home runs. Chris Bostic will pinch it for him. Long. That's a tricky play right there at the bank. Come a long way to get. Be a hit for Bostic. It is. Bostic's uh, first big league hit came the other day in that driving rain in the uh, ninth inning. At the PNC Park. Good solid one. That was your first. Yeah, nice double. Collects a single here to start the Pirates' sixth inning. Just their third hit off Waka. Bostic. Decent speed. Good guy to get things started with. Stole eight bases down at Indy. Marte finds a foul. It's flat out deep to right both times. Shake the right field line on the oh. That direction. Expecting to go that way again. Shade him toward the line and right. That's a little bit center, pretty much straight away and left. Spread out in the infield. Hold to third. To long to Martinez. And then erases the leadoff hit. It's weird looking at that defense. It looks like an alignment you would have saw like 1972 or something. Infield spread out. Eight in the other way in the outfield. Most hitters used to hit that way. No 
defensive shifts and uh, guys that can play. Well, Wong, who couldn't handle that first ball, certainly got the turn there. We'll see Marte doubled up too often. Carpenter doesn't exactly have a cannon for an arm. So it was a challenge for him, I would imagine, to turn that double play with Marte run. Yeah, he's been playing at third because Jose Martinez swinging a hot bat. They've been working him over in at first. There's Martinez, the rookie, 29 years old. Moroff has struck out both times against Walker today. Well, Walker really is, and it's reflected in the score. He's been doing everything. He's been able to have a plus velocity on his fastball. The control to hit the edges is there. His uh, secondary pitches have been all very good. That was a nice little changeup, I believe, there at the end. The last one. Oh. Another changeup. And another tidy hitting for Waka. He's shut out the Pirates through six. Pops two strikes on him back in that first inning. Big blow today. Third inning. Two men aboard and two outs. Cranking that up and in pitch right down the line. And his brother Benji. Excited to see on the air with the home run. Four nothing Cardinals added another on a home run just over the fence by Randall Grichik. Five nothing Cardinals as we begin the last of the sixth. Molina will start things against Wade LeBlanc. Take a look at Wade's numbers on the year. Been used quite a bit. He's pushing up there toward 50 games now. Opponent batting average not too bad, 245. 50 strikeouts, some more strikeouts. I was going to say more strikeouts in innings, but that's not the case. More strikeouts in games. He's been in. His innings uh, not really like the usual left hander. A lot of times when left handers come in out of the bullpen, you see the innings is substantially less than how many games they are. Because a lot of lefties are those situational guys they use for a, a hitter or two. LeBlanc more of a a long man coming in. He's got the first out. There's several times uh, this season where he's gone out there and he's pitched more than even just one inning. He's gone two, three innings. So three in his last outing. Yep, so that's why the innings are substantially above how many games he's appeared in. Now pitched three perfect innings Tuesday against the Cubs and since being activated when the roster is expanded. He's faced 13 batters. He's retired 13 batters. He's a hot shooter right now. <laughs> well, it didn't throw very hard, but uh, we've seen long periods of time where he's been very effective for the Pirates this year. After being acquired last year, about this time uh, last year, in a trade with Seattle. Made the ball club out of spring training. Well, LeBlanc's been up here all year. Is uh, very rarely has he been in the big leagues a full season. You like to see that those guys that whose careers have meandered from Triple A to the big leagues and have some stability. LeBlanc now 33 years old. For eight organizations and also in Japan. And it's going to roll foul. Nice punt. It was a bad punt, but actually, yeah. Detroit won that punt. No, oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely a cheering against the Cardinals. They're leading in both places, though. Five nothing here.
Does it want one? Agrees on the second call. Now the count even on Piscotti. All for two today. He's had an injury plague season. Good young hitter, but uh, the numbers don't show it this year. Similar to Polanco, uh, you know, a guy who really started to blossom last season as a, a young hitter and was often their cleanup man. And you know, injuries uh, derailing him for good he, parts of the year, even went to the minor leagues. He and Richard both, I think, have been kind of. That's Gregory. You know, I saw those guys when they come up for a while. They got a couple of uh, blue chippers there, but not really. Underneath the glove of Mercer. Maybe if they do, but. Mercer. Eighth error for Mercer. Still one of the lowest totals in the short stops. Best fielding percentage at shortstop over the last four years in the National League. Gordy Mercer. Of course, there are other evaluators. Defense, but one of them. Usually the balls he gets to, he makes. So a rare miscue. It's a man on for Harrison Bader. Sure, if the numbers would back me up on this or not. But I always say the, the younger hitters have such a difficult time against good changeups. That's the thing that they just don't see a lot of coming up through the minor leagues. The, the quality changeups that are in a good location and come in on any count. That's really the first. Uh, you know, you learn the fastball obviously when you're five years old. Or seven, I guess, when you get out of coach pitch and throw. Uh, then you can learn a changeup, right? Just to try to change the speed a little bit. Doesn't hurt the arm. Like maybe a breaking pitch would. The first kid. time I noticed that was got me years and years ago, back when I was a player with the Braves. Or ninth inning guy with Gene Garber. Oh, yeah. I remember Gene Garber. The side of twist. Max Buck had, uh, yeah. A lot of changeups. And uh, younger hitters. He would just eat them a lot. He'd throw change up after change up after change up, and they, just, they had no chance. And now, the older guys, the veteran guys, they would sometimes give them a hard time with that. But rookies, no chance. And Gene Garber came up with the Pirates and talked to him in spring training. He was with the Braves as a guest instructor. And I always like watching him pitch, too, because he'd have that. A kind of twist mm -hmm. back towards second base. He was on the mound. Uh, Pete Rose's hitting streak came to an end. Is that right? There's a 44 game streak in 78. Uh, hit well to center. And McCutcheon came close. Kind of got a glove on it. So Piscotti had to wait to see. He gets to third, and Bader at second. Men in scoring position with one out. I wasn't sure. He got down to second base, kind of standing there with his foot on the back to wait and see if the ball was going to be caught or not. And I think that the uh, the way that Touch went after it and it went in his glove and then rolled out right there. He wasn't sure until he saw it actually bounce on the ground, and then it was too late to move on. You can see the ball for a while was in Cutch's glove. And it, for right now, that has saved a run. Infield will have to play in, though. And they'll walk well, Richard. 
set up a double play with the intentional walk. Middle infield anyway. He'll probably move back. And Walker with just 69 pitches and pitching so well that Mike Matheny would rather with a lead stick with his pitcher. Well, look at our Allegheny Health Network Super Bowl. Yeah that if this was say a five to five game the intentional walk is just going to buy you a pinch hitter. But in this scenario you're going to you're going to get Walker. Of course this was Cubs you'd see a bunt right here. <laughs> the safety squeeze. Well, Walker is not much of a hitter one for twenty. Uh, Lifetime if you spread that out. So 0 50. I almost rather have him uh, sit up there and take three strikes, right? Yeah, and as a pitcher, you'd, you wouldn't mind if you put a ball in play because it's a good chance to get a double play. And if you strike him out, now you're going to have to face Carpenter with bases loaded. Yeah. So he swung there. Sometimes you've seen pitchers in that scenario, but. Just tell you put that bat on your shoulder to make it look like you're going to actually been told go and take three, don't swing. Don't even make it look like One two. Now even on Waka. Well now, very interesting. Three and two on the opposing pitcher with the bases loaded. Carpenter on deck. That is a ground ball here. It's going to be deep enough to score a run. That's not what you were looking for. It also allows Bader to move to third. Cardinals lead is six to nothing. Good day for Walker. He's throwing a shutout. Got himself an RBI now. Third run batted in this season for Michael Walker. So Bader to third. Richard remains at first. With Ray Searage and Angel Sanchez getting to loosen in the Pirates bullpen. No shortage of arms. Make as many changes as you want this time of year. A run across against LeBlanc. The Error preceding the double. Now Matt Carpenter is struck out twice looking both against Nova also walked. Much lesser of a hitter against. Lefty pitchers the power. Limited and hitting 204 overall. There and uh, the slugging percentage against lefties only 327. Yeah. Now 
the block had an error behind him a ball. Very tough play for McCutcheon that almost hauled in. Deep in the center off Bader who's now at third Gritchick intentionally walked. Across the diamond at first. Now ahead one and two. Get back in that box. Should be hurt. Moving that foot around. Though. Now he's ready. And LeBlanc strikes him out. But the Cardinals had a run. Six nothing St. Louis through six. And teams that have had great goes of it. Our picture will begin to form now. And the Marlins and the Braves tied at five. Look at the lowdown, keep you updated on all the scores. Drew McCutcheon starts off the Pirates seventh. They have been stymied by Walker so far. McCutcheon with one of the three hits. Singled his last time. Got some good numbers against Walker. Kind of hoping, uh, we talked about it early on, that maybe Cutchin have a little bit of a breakout game here. We can find that home run stroke again. Walker economical pitch wise. Just the 17 pitches in the fourth. That's the only above average. Pitch inning that he's had, so he can go the route today if he keeps this up. I was trying to get something going against him. It's the leadoff man. One time the leadoff man has reached as Mejia in the game now for Carpenter, who uh, must be hobbled. Seventy five pitches for Waka here with one out in the seventh. Bell is 0 for 2. Pirates got a one out double by Freeze in the second. This one into that clear sky. Walker towards the second out. Two down against Walker. MLB.tv every night, every device. You can watch every out of market regular season game live, plus get a free subscription to At Bat Premium, the number one app for live baseball. Blackout and other restrictions apply. Visit MLB.tv for details. Breeze had that double in the second. Conscience one out single in the fourth and then Chris Bostic with a leadoff pinch single in the sixth. Those have been the only three base runners against Walker. Driven to the gap and this will be extra bases for freeze. Well, as soon as I say that, Vader making a nice play to get that ball in in a hurry. The one six zip, I think Freeze goes ahead, forces him to throw him out. 
a big grin on his face. That's usually two. Yeah, down by this, uh, down by six runs, and absolutely cannot be making outs on the bases. So if there's a question whether you're going to make it or not, you throw the brakes on. Cardinals really like Bader in center field. And though they've got Dexter Fowler signed for four more years, Bader's going to make a play on it. With Fowler hurt right now. Yeah, cheap sheet there. Yeah. Who is this? Where do I play this guy? Yeah, we're seeing that now. That, you know, the quarterbacks uh, have that. Well, now the outfielders yeah, yeah. have that kind We've of stuff. We've seen uh, catchers with the thing on their forearm like a quarterback. John Jay so 0 for 2 today. Bader played him perfectly. Looked at his wrist. He told him, you stand here. Time to stretch. Pirates trail 6 nothing. Numbers uh, in his four games not good because of the long ball. Four games and five home runs. That will hurt you. Colton Wong will start things. Two, three, and four hitters coming up for St. Louis. Now long balls have been the difference uh, primarily today, of course, the pitching of Waka, but seeing uh, four of the six runs scored off the long ball today for St. Louis. Pirates, meanwhile, the uh, only home run that they've gotten. Since Tuesday was that inside the Parker by Frazier yesterday. Jordan Luplo has hit the last outside the park home run for the Pirates. Base hit for Wong. And speaking of rookie home runs, Paul DeYoung coming up. He is. Accumulated a good number in our barrel automotive league leaders. He's actually now third among National League rookies in home runs. Of course, Josh Bell up there and Cody Bellinger of the Dodgers. There's Bell. You know, really, you look at that list, it is a pretty good year, good crop of uh, rookie hitters. A lot of guys with the home runs, half up over 20 yeah. home runs. Bell having a fine season, tied for uh, the rookie RBI lead with Bellinger. Young with a couple of singles today. 96 from Sanchez, very easy heat. Out of Tenares in the Dominican Republic, was a an accounting major in college, and then. Uh, Went for two and a half years and then signed with the Dodgers in 2010. Don't see a lot of uh, young players from the Dominican Republic go to college first. They usually sign younger, but 14, <laughs> 16. I've seen them sign at 14. Not legally. Phillies had a 14 year old. That was in the old days. Though. Oh, okay. Moroff right. retires De Jong. One away. And uh, Sanchez was saying that down in uh, in the Dominican, when you play college ball there, uh, if you played professional baseball, you could still go and play collegiate oh, baseball. It's not like in the U.S. So uh, he'll. Face a lot of guys. Pretty maybe, good competition. Yeah, maybe play the Dominican Summer League. Some guys have even reached A ball, or that kind of thing. So, a handful of the guys had professional experience, and it was much better than, you know, say your typical leftovers. Oh, this was a good talent. Probably uh, somewhat comparable to the U.S. 
of ability. And Tommy John surgery that put him out all of last season after having a very good year moving up the minor league ranks with the Pirates the year prior as a starting pitcher. But now because of that Tommy John surgery working out of the bullpen. Checking out the lowdown at Milwaukee. Bidding for a sweep over the Cubs and that would be a huge win for them if uh, if Milwaukee wins that game they're two games back and if a sweep over the Cubs all three games in Chicago too. Yeah three point would be big. Cardinals also hoping for that final as well that would put St. Louis only two back and we'd have three weeks of mayhem in the division. You're talking about the home run ball earlier Bob. The uh, you know, Sanchez has been he's given up five already. Yeah. He gave up four all year in AAA, but we've talked about this on and off the air about how there is such a chasm yeah, between pitching more and than AAA. I have ever seen as far as numbers translating up here, stats. It just, you just I, I don't understand it sometimes. Yeah, because uh, we were talking about Tyler Glass now earlier, who was recalled today. One of it's six guys pitching. called back. Yeah. When Max got up here for the first time, he'd already hit 13 home runs. Yeah, this is early in the year. He was yeah. leading the league in home runs. Well, 13 home runs for, for more off when he got here. And you know he's hit a couple now since then, but like, he started four for 48. Yeah, I was like, you just for some reason the the. St the, the stat sheets that you see in the minor leagues, and then you see the guys come up here, they're just not playing up to those stat sheets. And then sometimes uh, you see a guy pop out of the woodwork and you go, Well, where, where did this guy come from? Maybe didn't have great numbers, and then maybe the uh, smaller major league ballparks, firmer ball, whatever it is, or you see the home run numbers surge. So more off, you know, getting some more playing time. Maybe in time we see those numbers kind of come back around. But you're right; it's been harder to evaluate, predict. Maybe is the better word. So that's why September can be good. See these guys in a major league uniform and get a little idea of maybe uh, characterizing what they did throughout the whole summer. Always better to trust your eyes. Two balls, two strikes. for three today and Sanchez being counseled by Diaz a familiar battery often this year in Triple A in Indianapolis and with the young guys cover the game Diaz certainly has a good knowledge of what their pitches do what their slider looks like how much their fastball moves and yeah, the two paired quite a bit in Indy this year. This will be the eighth pitch of the at bat. And that fastball at 97. Martinez has fouled off five pitches in this plate appearance. PMC Sports Medicine Strike Zone. Most of those in the zone. That one a one hopper, three and two.
It's number 10 of this sequence. Another foul ball. I like to see these kind of things with these pitchers that we're unfamiliar with. You know, what can they do to put away a hitter like this? Cardinals cleanup man. Very, very inexperienced cleanup man. Yeah, a rookie himself. Did you say 29 year old rookie? Yeah. Right here, two years ago in the Pacific Coast League. Cut loose by the Royals. Let him uh, become a minor league free agent. Cardinals pick him up last year. How often do you have a 29 year old rookie? That's pretty odd just right there. Well, that was ball four. He's not looking for a walk. Swinging a bat like a cleanup hitter. That's where Mike Matheny put him today. Has all series. Got a man aboard, one out. And on the 12th pitch, a base hit. And Wong will take advantage of the extra base. Through the infield, not much spent to it. Freeze on the line drive. One out. Still testing it and getting to third. Still made it to third. Now Yadier Molina, who has driven in four today. Only time he was retired was on a line out to short. Yesterday as well. At age 35, 17 homers and 71 RBIs. Had a thumb injury that really sapped his power for about two years, and then once he got healthy again, he's back to his old tricks. Poked out to Marte, and Wong will try him. He's in. And the Cardinals lead seven nothing. You know another thing that about Molina, a 35 year old catcher, and how often do we see him go behind the plate day game after night game? Doesn't All make any difference. He, he will not. I mean, he's one of those guys you got to force to get him out of the lineup. He leads all catchers in innings caught at age 35. He is quite a player. He's driven in five today. Martinez at first with two away. Piscotti 0 for 3. Reached on an error his last time. Five RBIs for Molina, tying a career high. The other time he did that was back in 2010. Balls that are strike on Piscotti. This will be the 25th pitch of the inning from Sanchez. And deep down the line. Would be foul with the seats. Just shy. And just foul. Well, you can cheat one right down that line. 
336 down the line. It gets out in a hurry. A little home run nook. Now that wall straight out though, so you hook it right around there. You might be able to get a little cheapy. Wall kind of angled there makes it interesting for the outfielders going to the corner to play that ball. Sanchez with a strikeout. The Cardinals add one through seven. They lead by seven. Cardinals going for a series sweep. Pirates have two innings to turn that around against Michael Walker. Elias Diaz 0 for 2. Pirates have garnered just four hits. Walker has not walked anybody. And starting the inning at 82 pitches, it's very reasonable to think that he might uh, go the distance, though his spot comes up next inning. Ball 96. Walker still maintaining the velocity late here in the game. And showing mastery of the strike zone as well. Bader is there for the first out. Brent Cecil is getting up. Left hander for the Cardinals. So might uh, lead you to believe that Walker may be lifted after eight today. Or if the Pirates, of course, have an uprising here at the bottom of the order. Dovidas Nevrovskis up for the Pirates. That's a hard hit base hit. Jordy Mercer is aboard. His first hit of the day. And with the pitcher spot coming up, I'll say Osuna. With a pinch hit for Angel Sanchez. Sanchez win an inning, give up a couple of hits a run. Struck out a batter. No. Jose Osuna. Stalling's playing left field. Oh boy. Wow. The uh, third string catcher. They had Jay playing left field yesterday. Oh. They also had, uh, I forget who it was, uh, Fowler playing for Fam in the opener, which was not uh, correct. So they have now corrected part of it by introducing Starling Marte, but that's where Stallings is. Like PA, the PA guy is like, Hey, he's going off the. I mean, technically, he's in left field. Paper. He's out of the oh, bullpen. Oh, you know what? That's no. what they're. Yeah, they're yeah he's in I the mean, left field bullpen. That's what that. Yeah, means. I mean, he's beyond the wall. That's a good point. Playing very deep, but he is in left field right now. So. That's a good point. He just took it very literally. That's all. Marte 0 for 3 today. Pirates have not had multiple men on in any inning against Waka today.
curve ahead one and two. Out to right again. Hit the ball out there three times today, but Scotty takes care of that. Pirates with a hit, but no more. Eight shutout innings for Michael Walker. Seven nothing St. Louis. His day is done. Eight scoreless. Pirates would be glad to see him go. He was dominant today, scattering those five hits. Quite a ball game, man. He had it all going. He had the secondary pitches, the control. He had good velocity on the fastball. And he got himself an RBI at the plate. Now coming on for the Buckos, Dovidas Neveraskas. So he's starting to get some big league experience up here. 17 innings so far. Came on with the lead last night and that two uh, home run by Matt Carpenter that disappeared into the flocks out in right center. Sweet William. What was yellow on a silly? I think so. Trying to figure out what the, the greenery was out just in front of the folks Flower in the outfield box. seats. Yeah. Thanks to the folks on Twitter helping us out with several different answers. Might be all three of those things. There they are. Oh, sweet William. Never ask us to be counted on in some more of these situations. Not like today, of course. You know, one sided affair, but like last night, narrow lead late. Kind of test him out of those like he operated in in uh, the minor leagues as well. So see if the rookie can be a key piece to the bullpen next season. With that big arm. to the right field corner. Jaso over. One away. And Neveroskis wants a new baseball. To face Randall Grinchik. He had a home run that's similar to Carpenter's last night. Ball just disappearing into that flower box for the first row back of the fourth inning Cardinals hitting a pair of home runs today Molina with a three run home run in the third both came off Nova Nova started today gave up five runs in his five innings struck out seven LeBlanc Sanchez and now Nemirovskis More of a strike, but called a ball. Forty-four thousand six eighty-three here today. Many of the folks have relocated for the day. It was a four-nothing game in that fourth inning, and he didn't get all of it, but got just enough. For his 20th home run. Curve missing, making it two and two. What kind of uh, home run did he hit with his show that? 
Maybe it was a solo home run and no big deal, but you know, that's the kind of thing, you know, when a team gets out in front like that and they can add on like one run here, one run there, that, that's what makes it so tough to run any kind of comeback. You know, not that that was any kind of big turning point or anything like that, but that, that's the kind of stuff that breaks your back. You got a pitcher out there that's rolling along against you. And then they add one here, add one there, and just. It looks away any kind of a momentum shift that you ever get. If you look back at the game on Tuesday where the Pirates came back against the Cubs to win four to three and you know LeBlanc in that game pitched three perfect innings of relief. The Pirates were down four nothing and then or I should say three to two at that one point right Yeah, three to two I beg your pardon and then they're able to come back in that game and score late. Sometimes, uh, you know, middle relief, or in this case, starting pitching. I mean, just that extra run here and there. But today, the way that Walker pitched, it was going to be all Michael Walker today. There are days where you don't hit well, and there are days where the other guy pitches very well. And I think this is more of the latter today with with Walker. Carson Kelly. They're apparent to Molina, but Molina signed to a contract extension this year. Fine looking young catcher, pinch hitting. And the Cardinals, by far, uh, leading the National League in batting average with pinch hitters. Mercer with the catcher running. A big stretch, they get the out. Play by Mercer. A one, two, three inning for Nevarovskis. Seven nothing through eight. The Cardinals and Brewers are both closing in on the Cubs here in the final three weeks of the season. Again, that series will have some importance. John Gant will come aboard. Well, just a couple of games under his belt to this point. Uh, has been in a game since the first of September. Try and get the final three. More off McCutcheon and Bell scheduled to bat. More off has that five game hitting streak going, but 0 for 3 today. Michael Walker went eight innings, five hits, no runs, no walks, seven strikeouts. Out of Wesley Chapel, Florida. 25 year old. Last year appeared with Atlanta. Striking out more off. Short hitting streak is over. Long hair, don't care. Andrew McCutcheon, one of the five hits for the Pirates today against Waka. Really an all in all complete day for St. Louis in this game. Uh, they hit well, obviously, but also uh, defensively. I was thinking about McCutcheon singled back in the fourth inning. That appeared to be like a double, and it was cut off nicely by Gritchick, a sliding play to limit McCutcheon. A couple of plays today were. Uh, freezes ball in the seventh would be a double as well, but Bader able to quickly cut it off. Yeah, it definitely has had gone their way this whole series. Well, Andrew McCutcheon with a two hit day. Now he'll get his double. 
to see McCutcheon picking up an extra base hit. Just his second now in his last 19 games. Right down the middle. And taking it to the opposite field. Challenging him with a fastball there. Put that out and the ball ran all the way to the warning track before Piscotta could get to it. Pretty easy double for touch. Well, maybe a day like this, even though Pirates in a lopsided affair. This might be the day that uh, McCutcheon starts a hot streak again. Carrying over into that series in Milwaukee. Bell also quieted today 0 for 3. So McCutcheon and Freeze with two hits apiece. Anton in relief of Walker, who went the first eight. In between Hop and Mejia. It's the second out. Kachin has to stay at second. Chance for Clint Hurdle's Buckos today. The Cardinals poised for a three game sweep. Jordan Luplo will bat for Freeze. Freeze ends his day two for three. Luplo has the last uh, Pirates home run out of the ballpark back on Tuesday. Showing some good power. Home runs with the Pirates, 23 in the minor leagues this year. Trying to keep this thing going down seven here in the ninth. The yeah, Pirates we were talking earlier about looking for a long ball help for next year. Maybe Luke Lowe. Of course, the way the outfield is put together right now, there's no room at the end. Well, he's forced his way to the big league roster after not being even invited to spring training this year. Played an A ball, ended last season at Bradenton. Started the year now, Tuna, went to Indy and all the way up to the major leagues. John Gant had two strikes. And a little flare. And Bader is there. And the Bader Cardinals the ground. Yeah, they like them. And they like the result today. The Cardinals shutting out the Pirates and earning the three-game sweep. Very uh, dominant fashion this afternoon. Pirates never really were in this one. Uh, gave up runs early and offensively never a threat. So the Cardinals trying to pick up a game on the Cubs who are trailing right now to Milwaukee in the eighth inning. They win three important games this weekend. And the Pirates pack up and they'll take on those Brewers in Milwaukee tomorrow night. And meanwhile, let's talk about this one. Let's go out to Dana Teague. I start by saying Riddle's right 